ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶ ಶಾರದ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ರಾಮಾಯ ರಾಮಭದ್ರಾಯ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರಾಯ ವೇಧಸೆ ರಘುನಾಥಾಯ ನಾಥಾಯ ಸೀತಾಯ ಪತಿಗೆ ನಮಃ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಆನ್ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಟು ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಥರ್ಟೀನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಾಲಕಾಂಡ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ದ ಪ್ರಿಪರೇಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಶರಥ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಟು ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದ ಅಶ್ವಮೇಧ ಯಜ್ಞ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಎ ಸನ್ ಎ ಹೀರ್ ಟು ಹಿಸ್ ಥ್ರೋನ್ ರಿಷ ರಿಷಿ ರಿಷಿ ಶೃಂಗ ವಾಸ್ ಬ್ರಾಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅಂಗ ರಾಜ್ಯ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಹಿ ಇನ್ವೈಟೆಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಅದರ್ ಮಹರ್ಷೀಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಲರ್ನ್ ಎಟ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಚಕ್ ದರ್ ಪರ್ಮಿಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದರ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಹಿ ಆರ್ಡರ್ಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಆಲ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಅಶ್ವಮೇಧ ಯಜ್ಞ the following year spring having returned once again the king desiring to perform to complete the edna for the sake of a heir paid homage to shri vasishta offering him humble salutations according to the prescribed ordinance and address the great brahmin with submission saying o great sage be pleased to complete a holy ceremony according to the sacred tradition let it be so undertaken that no interference may take place you are compassionate and your heart is inclined towards me you are also my guru the burden of the yagna must be borne by you the most excellent sage replied be it so i will do as you desire hereafter she vasishta summoned those brahmins able to perform the holy rituals and also artific- artificers architects artists writers actors and dancers because for arranging an yagna you require all kind of a people because a performance of an egna is like arranging a huge sportive complex so lot many arrangements elaborate arrangements are required because one year before the horse was let loose so that it wander around in all the countries and all those countries wherever it go they should submit themselves to the supremacy of ayodhya and only then the ashwamedha yagna can be performed so in that one year the all arrangements are being made addressing the learned priest he said at the kings the in fact it is now vasishtas everything is under the vasishtas command so he replied the most excellent sage replied be it so i will do as you desire Hereafter, Vasishta summoned those Brahmins able to perform the holy rituals along with artists, architects, writers, actors and dancers. Addressing the learned priest, he said, At the king's command, inaugurate the great Yagna, cause bricks, bring bricks in thousands to be brought here in the world. with all speed and erect many kinds of dwellings well arranged furnished with food and every comfort to accommodate royal and other guests prepare hundreds of beautiful houses on suitable sites together with provisions and all things needed by brahmins erect also large buildings for the people of other lands and store food and articles of comfort where it is best to do so fine and well equipped houses should be built for villagers ensure that hospitality in the form of food and refreshment be given with courtesy and kindness those attending the sacrifice should be entertained with respect and consideration being received in a becoming manner according to their varna let no affront be offered to any through greed anger or lust let craftsmen and servants be suitably regarded so that their hearts be set on their task and let no one act disruptively 
complete all in a spirit of goodwill and courtesy so that the work may be successfully accomplished. The people listened to the holy sage and they replied back, We will act according to your instructions, O sage, nothing shall be omitted. Sri Vasistha then summoned the chief minister Sumantra and said, Send out invitations to the sacri to the yagna to all the righteous kings of the earth and also to the brahmins, kshatriyas, vaishyas and shudras of every country. But go first to the great sovereign of Mithila, the heroic Janaka, eminent in truth, the greatest of warriors and a knower of the Veda, since he is an ancient ally of King Dasharatha, thereafter bring the ever truthful King of Kashi of exemplary conduct equal to a god, and then the aged and virtuous King of Kaikeya or Kekaya, our sovereign father in sovereigns means the Dasharatha's father in law, and invite his son also. Call the fortunate king of Romapada of Anga, the intimate friend of the king, and bring here with respect Koshala, the king of Magadha. Thereafter, send messengers to the kings of eastern countries of Sindhu, Savira, and Saurashtra, and the monarchs of the south with other great kings of the earth. Let them come with their brothers, relations, retainers, and servants. Having heard the words of Sri Vasistha, Sumantra carried out the instructions given by him, dispatching invitations by special messengers to the monarchs of many lands, himself going forth to escort some of the great kings. Sumantra having departed, all the workers employed in the sacrifice or the yagna informed the holy sage of their progress, and he advised them further, saying, Let nothing be presented to any without due respect, even in jest. Gifts given with contempt lead to the destruction of the giver. A few days later, the kings from afar arrived at the Sakna pavilion or Yaga pavilion bearing gifts of gems. Then Sri Vasistha being pleased, he said, O king, at your command, all the kings have come and been received by me with due hospitality. The preparations for the, for the yagna are now completed. Be pleased to enter the Yagashala and inspect the articles needed for the ceremony. See now how well your servants have furnished everything required and have gratified your every wish. On the recommendation of the sage Vasistha and Rishishringa, King Dasharatha went to the Yagashala at an auspicious time when a propitious star was in the ascendant. Then the learned Brahmins and Sri Vasistha elected Rishishringa as chief priest. The Igna began in accordance with the ancient ordinance, and the king with his queens engaged in the preliminary initiation. Thus ended chapter 13 of Balakanda, explaining the preparations that were made for the purpose of Ashwamedha Yagna, and with successful preparations, the Ashwamedha Yagna is about to begin. Namaste Sharada Devi, Kashmir Puravasini, Tomaham Prathayenityam, Vidya Dhananchadehime. Goodbye.